everyone, this is El Shaddai's Amazing Grace, also known as God's Amazing Grace, and this prayer is to destroy the curse of poverty in our lives. You see, poverty is a curse, and poverty can be associated with a form of slavery. Now, it's only God's principles that can break this. You see, poverty isn't planned in our lives from God. If we read Deuteronomy chapter 15 verses 4, it reads, However, there need be no poor people among you, for in the land the Lord your God is giving you to possess as your inheritance, he will richly bless you. You see, if you lack knowledge and wisdom, how could you move forward to prosper? You can't, it's impossible. You need the knowledge and wisdom of God. When we read Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verses 12, it says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that have it. Some people will say the reasons why other countries or some other countries are lacking and they have poverty is because they do not have enough resources. No, it's because the leaders in those countries do not have the wisdom and the knowledge from God. Africa has the most resources in this world. But there is a lot of poverty going on in Africa. And it's not because the leaders are not educated. They are very educated. But they lack when it comes to implementing the knowledge in order to take poverty out of their land so that the people can benefit. They lack wisdom. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, it says that my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. But if we read Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verses 15, it says, Now there lived in that city a poor man but wise, and he saved the city by his wisdom. So when you gain the wisdom and the knowledge, that's when you understand the role of the enemy, which is Satan. Because Satan wants you to fall into sin. Because once you are in sin, you have opened the box for a curse to come upon you. Remember it reads in John chapter 1 verses 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So from that quotation in the Bible, when we then read Joshua chapter 1 verses 8, it says, keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. When the wisdom and knowledge of God comes into your life, you will understand John chapter 10 verses 10 when it says that the thief only comes to kill steal and destroy and the enemy who is satan has access to do this to you once you fall into sin job in the word of god always followed god's principles even though when god was testing him and trials and tribulations were coming to him he did not give up the reason why he did not give up is because he had gained wisdom and knowledge to know that once you are serving God day in, day out, and once you have faith to know that God is your deliverer, your healer, your redeemer in all things, he knew that no matter what was happening to him, God will take him out of it. When we read Job chapter 42 verses 12, it says, The Lord blessed the later parts of Job's life more than the former part. He had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 donkeys. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. Any way that the curse of poverty has come into your life, as we are praying and you are in agreement, may the fire of God come and answer this prayer so that you can be freed, so that you can receive your victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So right now we are going into prayer and as we are going to prayer, if you agree with everything I am saying at the sound of my voice, everything will manifest because when we read Matthew chapter 18 verses 19, it says, again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Our almighty God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the head and not the tail in heaven. You are our deliverer. You are our healer. Hallowed be thy name. You are mighty and you reign in power. God, I'm excited for the day to come when all rebellion is destroyed and your reputation is vindicated so that the world will see that you are the one God whose name is above all. Forgive us for our sins and may the blood of Jesus wash me and whoever is listening in agreement to this prayer so that our prayer is not hindered by sin. 
I clothe myself spiritually with the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the shoes of readiness that come from the gospel of peace. And I gird up the lines of my mind, but we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with the powers of darkness in the supernatural sphere. May the blood of Jesus be ahead of our mind, soul, mind and spirit for protection. And to anyone listening who is in agreement to this prayer, I take my authority given to me, fire by force to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me or anybody else who is listening in agreement to this prayer. For if God is with us, nothing can be against us. As it is written in Psalms 91 11, we have been given our Father's angels from heaven to accompany us, to defend us, to preserve us in all of our ways of obedience and service. So right now, I call upon the thousands upon the thousands upon 10,000 times 10,000 of angels to come to our defense, to join us in this spiritual battle against principalities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind every struggle of poverty with the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind every mental and spiritual works of poverty in our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All strongholds of poverty receive the fire of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Angels of the Lord, I command you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to arrest every evil monitoring spirit that is monitoring us, the children of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil altar receiving sacrifices against us, the children of God, our prosperity. Right now, I command every evil altar to break in Jesus' name, receive the hammer of God and break, scatter break, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any wisdom or knowledge that the Almighty God has given to us, if you the enemy are stolen, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command that wisdom, that knowledge to come back to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any covenant that is strengthening the stronghold of poverty in our lives, the children of God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break it in Jesus' name. I scatter it in Jesus' name. I trample upon it with the blood of Jesus upon my feet, right now in the mighty name of of Jesus break in Jesus, Jesus name break in Jesus, Jesus name break in Jesus, Jesus name I bind Jesus. and I cast that every Jesus. negative word Jesus. that is enforcing poverty in our lives the children of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ with the blood of Jesus upon my tongue right now every single evil power that is sitting on the prosperity the Almighty God has given to us I command you to die in Jesus name die in Jesus name die in Jesus name any part of the body that has been held up in slavery spiritually to bring us down, to pull us back from our progress so that we cannot make wealth. Right now, I break every single chain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break every single chain with the hammer of God and I melt it with the blood of Jesus. Receive your freedom right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For it reads in Corinthians chapter 3 verses 17, Now the Lord is the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Receive your freedom from the spirit of poverty. Receive your freedom from poverty and curses in your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic barrier designed to hold us, the children of God, back from our portion God has given us. May you begin to break. May you begin to break right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any household wickedness that is sponsoring poverty in our lives right now, receive the smoke coming from God's nostrils and receive the fire coming from God's mouth and be roasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be roasted right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every mountain of debt programmed to bring poverty in our lives, right now I command you to collapse now. Collapse the same way the war of Jericho collapsed, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil tutorial spirit working against us, the children of God, to bring poverty, to bring any curses of other things that is making us slack. Right now, with the fire of God, I command everything to be roasted. I command everything to be burnt up into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, break us loose from any captivity, any domination of any witchcraft powers that is holding us back to succeed in our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I paralyze completely all satanic transactions and contracts against us the children of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let every satanic siren scaring away our helpers be silenced right now with the blood of Jesus Christ. I command the riches of the Gentiles to be transferred back 
back to us right now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Every evil Jesus. coming that has Jesus. been made against Jesus. us, the children of God, Bloody against Jesus. our prosperity, right now I break you with the hammer of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every evil plantation of poverty that has been placed in our lives, the children of God, I command you to come out with your root in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out now in Jesus' name. For it reads in John chapter 15 verses 2, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes it away. So right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, Almighty God, take away every plantation that is not bearing fruit in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, let the precious blood of Jesus Christ come down and destroy every work of the enemy fashioned against us, the children of God. And may all of it be disorganized. May all their plans be scattered. May confusion come upon them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the children of God, what I decree and declare, we shall not carry any evil mode forward in our lives in Jesus' name. Every voice speaking hardship or oppression into our lives the children of God be silenced right now by the blood of Jesus Christ but it reads in your word in Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 it says I will give you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses may you receive the blessings of this land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because you are walking in the light and because you are in the light the favor of God is coming upon you receive that favor receive that favor receive that grace receive that mercy receive all your possessions right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any potentials that has been buried right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I approach you with the fire of God. It reads in Psalm chapter 66, verse 6, He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There let us rejoice. Every dark river of affliction that is following us, the children of God, from our Father's house, right now I command you to dry up in Jesus' name. All ancestral spirits, all familiar spirits that has been assigned to wreck our destinies, the children of God, I bind you all together and I dispatch you to the pit of fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All of you witchcraft spirits that is troubling our finances, right now I bind you all together and I also dispatch you into the fire of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break and I loosen all of us, I loosen all of our blessings from any witchcraft domination or control right Jesus. now in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Any prison Jesus. we have been put in spiritually Jesus. to hold Jesus. us back so that we do not elevate right now. I open every prison gate with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the blood of Jesus protect our mind, our spirit and our soul right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hand of God, pick us up from any pit the enemy has put us in in Jesus' name. Father God, dress us with your grace, dress us with your mercy, and see us out every curse of poverty in our lives in Jesus' name. God, arise and scatter every trap of poverty that is fighting us, the children of God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. It says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessings of the Lord make me rich and he adds no trouble to it. I receive that word. May you begin to receive that word in your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command all of our hard work and our hand work to receive divine blessings, divine profit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the knowledge of the Almighty God get us to recognize any sin that is causing poverty in our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, because poverty is not for us, right now, Lord, answer us with your thunder the same way you answered Moses with your thunder and put this enemy to shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, bless us with wisdom, for it says in your word in James chapter 1 verses 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God and he will give generously to all them without reproach and it will be given to him. Father God, bless us with wisdom so that we can move forward in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today and now and forevermore, my portion in life has changed and your portion has changed. We are no longer beggars, we are no longer warriors, we are lenders, we are givers in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father God, may your strength come upon us so that we can wake up.
every morning even before we go to bed so that we can begin to meditate on your words because when we meditate on your words we will take in that wisdom and knowledge father god give us that strength in the mighty name of jesus christ i thank you father god for releasing us from every captivity the enemy has put us in poverty i thank you father god for that grace and that mercy i give you the praise wonderful glorious god in the mighty name of jesus christ and we shall always say amen